What if we make a rain cloud in a jar? For this experiment, you only need a few items. You need a jar with a lid that won't allow air to escape. So in this case, I used a mason jar. Ice and matches. You also need fabric to put the jar on top of so that heat doesn't escape from the bottom. In this case, I used a pot holder, but you can also use a towel. You begin by putting hot water into the jar. About a quarter inch is all you need. Once the water is in there, you're going to light the match. Needless to say, this requires adult supervision. Once your match, match is ready, you take it and put it in the jar and you will immediately see some vapor coming. Once the vapor is there, you can drop the match and put the ice on top. Once the ice is on there, it should be a solid seal. You're going to see the vapor move in the jar and after about a minute or so, probably sooner than that, you'll start to notice condensation. And you can always put more ice on the top if you feel that the ice is not enough, but it will make a nice effect when you look closely. And after a few minutes, you'll see all of the condensation and you'll see droplets come down just like rain. It's a very interesting effect. So what exactly is happening in there? Well, if you're familiar with the water cycle, you'll know what I'm talking about. The water cycle describes the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface of the earth. The water cycle begins when water turns into water vapor or an invisible gas. Water vapor will then cool down when it reaches high enough in the atmosphere and attach to other particles in the air and eventually condense back into droplets. Eventually, those droplets will come back down to earth in the form of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. And once it all falls back down to earth, it collects in various places like oceans, lakes, streams, rivers, and even puddles. The water cycle is a pretty cool thing to observe. I bet you've seen it and not even realized it. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Until next time, stay safe, take care. See you in the library. Bye.